rocks are all around and have lots of uses today as well as in the past. But did you know rocks can be sorted into three main types? These are sedimentary rocks, igneous rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Let's have a closer look at these three types of rocks. First, sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are formed from sediments, which are small grains or particles. These sediments settle in lakes and rivers and layers build as more and more sediment settles. This is called stratification. Lower layers are squeezed from the weight of higher layers in a process called compaction. Sometimes cementation happens, which is when some minerals in the sediments dissolve in the water and create a natural cement. From this stratification, compaction, and cementation, sedimentary rocks are formed. Some examples of sedimentary rocks include shale, sandstone, and limestone. Next, igneous rocks are formed by the cooling of magma or lava. Magma is hot liquid rock underground. When it reaches the Earth's surface, it is then called lava. Igneous rocks can be categorized as either intrusive or extrusive. Intrusive igneous rock forms underground from magma that has cooled. Extrusive igneous rock forms above ground from the cooled lava. Granite, obsidian, and pumice are examples of igneous rocks. Lastly, metamorphic rocks form from sedimentary or igneous rock. If sedimentary or igneous rock below Earth's surface are exposed to extremely high temperature and pressure, they change into a completely different rock, a metamorphic rock. For example, the sedimentary rock shale under extreme temperature and pressure becomes slate. Limestone becomes marble. And those are the three types of rocks. Next time you find a rock, see if you can identify if it is a sedimentary, igneous, or metamorphic rock.